Clocks Part 2 Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is part 2 on the lecture on clocks. Let's start with a few problems. Problem 1. At what time between 2 and 3 o'clock will the hands of a clock coincide? Alright, now problem 1 says that between 2 and 3 o'clock, when will the hour hand and the minute hand coincide? Now, as I said in my first video, the hour hand and the minute hand will coincide once every hour for sure. Alright? Now, a very important concept is that the minute hand gains 55 minutes on the hour hand every hour. If you don't understand how this works, you need to go and watch my first video. I've explained it completely. Now, here's how you start. Now, they've asked you between 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Start with 2 o'clock. Now, at 2 o'clock, the hour hand will be at 2 and the minute hand will be at 12. Right? Now, what is the difference between the, uh, the hands right now? It is 10 minutes. Correct? So now, for the minute hand to coincide with the hour hand, it needs to gain 10 minutes. We already know that the minute hand gains 55 minutes on the hour hand every hour. So, it gains 55 minutes every 60 minutes. Now this looks confusing because there's time on both hands. Understand this, this is the real time and this is the time it gains. Now we want it to gain 10 minutes. So to gain 10 minutes, how much time will it take? Well, let's keep it in x. Now it's simple cross multiplication. So x into 55 is equal to 60 into 10. So x will be 60 into 10 divided by 55. 5 11s are 5 12s are so this comes out to be 120 by 11 or, or if you convert it to a mixed fraction it will be 10 into uh, 10 10 by 11 so after this much time the minute hand will coincide with the hour hand so basically your answer is the minute hand will coincide with the hour hand at 10 10 by 11 minutes past that is after 2 o'clock this is your answer Alright, simple. Let's move on to the second problem. Problem 2. At what time between 4 and 5 o'clock will the hands of a clock be at right angles? Alright, now for the second problem, they've asked that between 4 and 5 o'clock, when will the hour hand and the minute hand be perpendicular? Now, perpendicular is basically when the minute hand and the hour hand are 15 minutes apart. Right? Then only it will make an L or a perpendicular angle. Now, obviously this will happen twice. Once when the minute hand is behind the hour hand and one when it is after. Now consider 4 o'clock. Okay? Now the hour hand will be at 4 and the minute hand will be at 12. So the difference now is 20 minutes. Correct? We want it to be 15 minutes. So now the first case is we will consider when the minute hand is behind the hour hand. So now it is behind by 20 minutes. We want it to be behind by only 15 minutes. So as to form the perpendicular angle. So it has to gain 5 minutes. Correct? So first scenario is when it has to gain just 5 minutes. The second scenario is when the minute hand crosses the hour hand and then has an advantage or a gain of 15 minutes. So how much time will it take? First it needs to reach the hour hand, so 20 minutes. After that it needs to cross 15 minutes more. So altogether 20 plus 15 is 35 minutes. Alright, these are your two cases. Now by the previous problem we have already established the shortcut formula. If we want to find out how much time will the minute hand take to gain some amount x number of minutes then it is this much. So, we want the minute hand to gain 5 minutes. So, this much time it takes. So, 60 by 55 into 5. Right? 5 11s are, 5 12s are. So, this is basically 60 by 11. Right? Okay. This is 1. Now, 35 minutes. So, it will be 60 upon 55 into 35. So, 5 11s are, 5 12s are. Right? So 35 into 12 is uh, 350 plus 70 that is 420, 420 by 12, well, 420 by 11. So now you don't need to convert this to mixed fractions. If you do that it will take more time. So go to your options, multiply all your options and see which if any of them match either of these two. Because at both these positions, right, they will be at perpendicular angles. Now what it is, it's basically 60 by 11 minutes past 4, after 4 o'clock, this much time, then it will be at uh, it will be perpendicular and 4 to, uh, 420 by 11 minutes past 4 again it will be at a perpendicular angle so these two are your answers all right let's go to problem number three problem three find at what time between eight and nine o'clock will the hands of a clock will be in the same straight line but not together all right now for the third problem they've asked you that between eight and nine o'clock when will the hour hand and the minute hand be in the same line but not together now what this basically means is that I've, I've already told you that the hour hand and the minute hand will coincide once every hour. When I say coincide, it means here and here. But also, 
if you consider 12 o'clock, it's in the same line. If you consider 12.30, not 12.30, some, somewhere near 12.30, the hour hand will be here and the minute hand will be here. So basically they're still in the same line, but they're not together. That is what they basically mean in the question. Not in the same direction. So they're basically asking you when the difference between the hour hand and the minute hand will be 30 minutes. Alright, now consider this, consider 8 o'clock. Alright, 8 o'clock, the hour hand will be 8 and the minute hand will be 12. Now, just by this shortcut formula, you can finish sum in less than 10 seconds. Alright, see, the difference here is 20 minutes. We want it to be in the same line but not together. That means in the opposite directions. Opposite directions means 30 minutes. It, it already has 20 minutes, it needs to gain 10 minutes. By the shortcut formula, we can just say to gain 10 minutes, it will be 60 upon 55 into 10. That is 5 11s are, 5 12s are. So 120 by 11 or 10. 10 by 11. So 10, 10 by 11 minutes past 8, they will be in the same line but not together. That's how to solve it. So this was part 2 on the lecture on clocks, where we basically saw a shortcut formula that helps you simplify the problems within seconds. In lecture 3, I'll solve many more tough problems. If you found this video helpful, do subscribe to my channel and share this link on Facebook and tell your friends about it. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel to get all my videos. I'd appreciate it if you repost this video on Facebook and told your friends about it. Spread the knowledge.